Hi guys, uh, today I bring you Mog of Scarab's Lair, uh, MOSL for a 150 plus Paladin. Uh, so the first thing I will mention, because I know this will be the number one comment if I don't mention it, this place can be hunted at a lower level as a Paladin. I know level 50, 60, 70 Paladins come here, and they come here with burst arrows and GFBs, uh, and you know, they get pretty good results. So that is something you can do. Uh, this video will be focusing on a level 150 Paladin, so using Diamond Arrows. Uh, personally, I think it's not that amazing at the level 60. It's it's probably pretty good, but it's very dangerous and a bit clunky. Um, personally, I'm, I'm more of a fan of coming here on a Paladin of 150, uh, but if you want to try out a lower, le a lower level, feel free to uh, go ahead, of course. You'll be able to do the Grizzly tasks at least at a lower level. Uh, so... Level 150 plus Paladin, uh, here are the results. Uh, raw experience, you can expect about 700k per hour, which is about 1.05kk per hour. Uh, and the loot is not that great, unfortunately, Diamond Arrows are pretty expensive, so you're going to be wasting here. Um, this is minus 50k per hour, but this is before imbuement, so if you're imbuement, you're probably looking at even like minus 150k per hour here. So, honestly, it's probably a bestiary place, mostly. Uh, however, there is one thing I will mention. Uh, I think this place is great uh, for a first time level 150 paladin to learn how, how to use diamond arrows and gfbs so if if you've been playing single target paladin your whole life and this is your first time you know hitting 150 paladin and uh, using diamond arrows i think this is one of the best places to just come that's easy uh, you know that's still got decent experience that's going to going to teach you you know how to do the new rotation you know your diamond arrow plus uh except a masan followed by diamond arrow and rune I, I think this is a great practice place i wouldn't really be sending someone at 150 to somewhere more difficult uh because they might just die so if you're a new 150 paladin you know check this place out uh get the beast cherry in about two hours as you can see and hopefully you'll be ready for more difficult places moving on uh Level 60, 150 to uh, begin, as I mentioned. Um, no strict requirements, though. There's no access or anything, no level door, so you know you can go there whenever. Uh, this place can effectively be hunted by pretty much everybody. This place is amazing, especially for mages at a low level. A low level mage from 50 plus does crazy experience here, like 1kk per hour on 150%. It is insane. Um, for knights, level 70 plus, you can do it quite easy as well with uh, Xori Min. Uh, duos at low level can also go here. Full team hunt, you know, maybe on a, on a new serve on like level 30, 40, maybe, maybe a bit doable, but not quite enough respawn, I think, for like any higher levels. Recommended imbuements, all standard, your crit, minor life leech, uh, prioritize physical protection followed by earth protection, but ultimately at level 150, this place is going to be pretty easy. I gave it a 2 out of 10 difficulty, so don't, don't stress about it too much. With regards to supplies, uh, I use about 150 great mana potions per hour, about 1,200 diamond arrows, and about 450 great fireballs. Uh, for charms, I'm going to give an NA, not really worthwhile. And the character you'll see in the video is a level 163 RP with 120 distance skill and 26 magic level with loyalty. No praise, no charms. Now moving on, on to the uh, route. So, uh, in general... I would say that minus two is the bread and butter of this spawn. So you want to spend as much time on minus two as possible uh, while their respawn is keeping up. So let's just go to minus two. And generally, I do a pretty simple loop, something like this. I mean, this is uh, pretty obvious, right? It's it's a nice little, nice little clockwise uh, direction around the spawn, just basically killing... Uh, every room as you go and then minus one kind of depends on how quickly you're hunting um generally around this level you will be running out of spawn a little bit so normally what i would recommend is going up and maybe doing the three rooms on minus one so maybe you'll come in to this room to this room to this room and then maybe go back to minus two and this should hopefully be sufficient um if it's not then, you know, just keep adding extra rooms to your uh, to your lap. Maybe you'll need an extra couple of rooms on minus one. Maybe not. It depends on the respawn rate on your server and on how quickly you're killing it. Uh, but basically, it's, it's pretty, pretty simple. If you want to stick to just minus two, just stick to minus two and skip minus one entirely. Um, it's still going to be pretty good. It can Minus two can maintain around 1kk 
uh, on one fifty percent in respawn, somewhere somewhere around there. Uh, okay, that's that's what I have for you today, guys. Like I said, great place to learn how to use diamond arrows, how to get used to your rotation, and uh, just a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. And after that, I'm going to show you the video. So uh, thanks very much to all my YouTube members. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.